Hi guys, let's look at module 00106, Introduction to Basic Rigging in the NCCR Core Curricula. This is section 1.3.0, Rigging Hardware. Some trade terms that you should read over and become familiar with. And then shackles. We've got a lot of shackles up here, different kinds. It says screw pin, chain and anchor shackles are the most common types. We have this screw pin that comes in here, here, here. These have uh, cutter pins that go through and fold out to keep them from coming out. These screw in. On these screw in ones, let's say that they are screwed in and tightened by hand and hand only. It's only hand tight. So if you take a tool and tighten them up, it's, it's going to make them where you always have to have that tool to take them apart. Uh, shackles and hooks and chains, all that, we want them to come, come off. We want them to to hold on when we put them on to something and, and come off easy when we take it apart. So this pin is designed to be put in and taken out by hand. If it gets cross-threaded or put in with a tool, then it's going to be extremely hard to work with. So keep that in mind. Screw pin shackles should never be over-tightened. Tools should not be necessary. And avoid placing the load on the pin. So we want to make sure that we put this pulling strap on the pin and have the load centered in the bottom here. Unless an eye bolt has a shoulder, it should be used for straight vertical lifts only. So right here we have an unshouldered eye bolt, straight vertical lifts only. A shouldered eye bolt, some degree of an angle, and a swivel eye bolt over here give us a larger degree of angle. Lifting clamps are handy for moving sheet material or other thin wall components such as sheet piles and large pipe. Rejection criteria for those lifting clamps. Like other rigging hardware, lifting clamps should be inspected prior to use. If there's a change in shape, severe abrasion, excessive rust or corrosion, missing or illegible capacity, cracks, loose or damaged rivets, changes in opening in the, at the jaw plate, or wear on the cam teeth. Any of these reasons, and this, this uh, lifting clamp should be taken out of service. Rigging hooks are available in a surprising number of configurations, eye hook, uh, round reverse eye hook, sliding choker hook, grab hook, shortening clutch. All kind of different hooks for all kind of different reasons. If we're using anyone that has this little latch on it, that gate must be there and must be in good working order before we use that, that hook. All right, uh, rigging hook defects, as durable as they may seem, rigging operations and mishandling can permanently damage these components. Severe wearing or scraping, cracks, cuts or gouges, excessive rust or corrosion, increase in throat opening, twist, elongation, or a broken or missing safety latch. Now this, this increase in throat elongation, that comes from when this, this, this hook has been point loaded, meaning that the uh, strap or whatever they used to lift with was up here on the point instead of in the bottom of the throat. So we gotta watch out for that. All right, some review questions for that section. It says, what is wrong with this hook? Cuts or gouges, wearing or scraping, increase in throat opening, or elongation. I would tell you that that hook had been point loaded and there's been an increase in the throat opening. What type of shackle is pictured below? Screw pin anchor shackle, safety anchor shackle, screw pin chain shackle, or round pin anchor shackle? It's going to be a round pin anchor shackle. All right, what type of eye bolt is shown here or pictured below? Shouldered, unshouldered, swivel, or round? I'm going to say unshouldered. All right. What is good for moving sheet material or other thin wall components? Eye bolt, screw pin shackle, safety chain shackle, or lifting clamp? I'm going to say lifting clamp. What rigging hook is pictured below? An eye hook, a grab hook, a sliding choker hook, or a shortening clutch? That would be a grab hook. All right, guys, that's it for that section. The next section will be hoist and, and hitches. You can go ahead and read through section 1.40 and 1.54, and we will see you in class for the next presentation.